Brookings, the California of Oregon, as it's widely known by me, is a border city of approximately 6,800 people. It's situated perfectly to let you enjoy the natural wonders of both states, and you can use this to your advantage to take two vacations in one. We'll show you distinct, incredible nature experiences that you can enjoy if you have at least two full days in the area. Though it sounds like the name of a butler or a rich person's dog, Brookings is relatively affordable. Even a three-star hotel can come with some stunning views. But why sit inside when there are just as many views, if not more, on the outside? The most obvious reason to visit the area is to explore the rugged and beautiful coastline. We started our exploration in Brookings and worked our way north, but in retrospect, for ease and safety of driving, we'd suggest doing the reverse. Go to the north end of the Samuel H. Boardman State Scenic Corridor, a 12-mile stretch along US 101, and work your way back south to Brookings. Going in this direction helps you avoid left turns across traffic to access each site of interest. One of the most beautiful features here is that there's a public restroom when you really need it. Here's a place called Whale's Head Viewpoint. One thing you won't be able to see here is correct use of punctuation. Our next stop was a very pleasant surprise. The short walk down to the beach was charming, and once you got all the way down, it was a nature lover's playground. One of our favorite stops was the Harris Beach State Recreation Area, which is the most visited state park in Oregon. A great feature we noticed right away was the park's attention to accessibility for those with mobility challenges. The park's website also lists one campground as having universal access. Comparing this place to the highly popular Cannon Beach in Northern Oregon, which is closer to where we live, we both preferred Harris Beach. I imagine this is what the worst part of Hawaii looks like, and that's good enough for me. As fantastic as our first full day in Brookings was, our second day was even more amazing. Having explored the Oregon side of the border, we crossed over into California to visit the Redwood National and State Parks. Besides going into the depths of the forest, you can also take a scenic loop by the Redwoods that takes you by some marvelous vistas along the Pacific Ocean. We also really enjoyed hiking to Endert's Beach. Our old dog can't handle long walks anymore, so this is how he rolls now. One might think this was a scene from Ireland, but it was in a place that I had lived for three and a half years. California is absolutely my favorite state. Go Cowboys! As much as I enjoy a good beach, the real pleasure of this visit was the hike down. So if you have time, take in some of the views instead of rushing by. Our next stop was the most memorable experience from this trip. We were awestruck, not only at the size of these giant redwoods, but by the unexpected silence. We couldn't even hear faint sounds of birds chirping. It was eerie, and only served to heighten the presence of these ancient trees, some of which were possibly 2,000 to 3,000 years old. A growing body of scientific research about plant communication and behavior has convinced me that they at the least have some form of sentience, if not what we've deemed consciousness. As we arrived at a spot where we could finally hear the chirping of birds, I contemplated my place in the world among all its interconnected beings. Based on this introspection, I impart to you with all the wisdom I can muster from my being. Don't forget to like and subscribe, y'all! I don't know why I'm not better than this. I just know I'm not. Having failed at spirituality, it was time to move on to a final stop before returning to Brookings. We visited Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park. Just listen to that. And just look at me, listening to that. What we've shown here is just a small glimpse of the Northern Redwoods area. There's so much that we didn't get to explore, and I can only hope that we eventually make our way back. We enjoyed a final few scenes before heading back to Brookings, in gratitude for our two vacations in one. We end today's journey with a segment called Travel Sized Tales, miniature stories for people on the go who want to enjoy literature 
but not too much. A butterfly was sitting peacefully on a rock by the river when a bro in a Houston Astros cap began smoking nearby. God, I hate Houston, the butterfly thought. It fluttered its wings in an intricate pattern. There, that should do it. Four days later, Houston experienced hail the size of baseballs. See you next time.